Hey everyone, it's uh, um, today happens to be my one year anniversary on testosterone, and I'm really I've been spending the day looking back over my videos for the last year and just amazed at how much has changed since that time. I remember going to the doctor um, a year ago. I thought I was just going to be going in for blood work and, and just uh, initial office visit. But after he spoke with me and took my blood, he asked me if I wanted a shot on the f right then and there, and I, I jumped at the chance. So it's it's been all, all downhill from there. Um, yeah, so one year on testosterone, my voice has dropped a, t a lot. My I've got whiskers coming in all over my chin, and my sideburns are slowly filling in. I've got a nice happy trail going. I've got a little bit of chest hair going on. I had more, but when I had my top surgery, most of that disappeared with the, the nipple resizing that took place. So I'm still working on getting a little bit more on my chest. Um, one thing I've noticed just recently, I started looking looking back through some of my pictures. My my hairline's starting to recede back this direction. It used to be up here a little bit more, and I definitely have some receding going on in my hairline. So that's kind of exciting, just because that's a typical male um, trait. So it just helps me pass that much more. Although I'm passing 100% now. There's nobody that that um, calls me out anymore. Uh, I do run into people that I, I knew pre-T and you can always see the puzzlement in their face because I look and sound very masculine now so if I, there's somebody I feel comfortable sharing with I, I often do confess what the, what the change is but other times I just leave them hanging and wondering so I don't know, maybe that's not a good idea, but that's, I don't know, that's just how I handle it, so. Anyway, um, this is also my, what, five and a half week, it'll be six weeks on Friday, since my top surgery, um, and I wanted to do a quick update on that. I've, I uh, didn't really do one for my fourth week, about, but by my fourth week I could uh, keep my nipples uncovered they had healed to the point where I didn't have to keep them covered up anymore um, but here's my chest Oops. but here's my it's my left one my right my right side it's been so freaking hard to uh, hold still or not hold still but um, keep from doing any work and I've picked up my activity a little bit and as a result I don't know how well this shows as a result my scar has spread a little bit it's opened up not not opened up but it's just spread stretched a little bit so it's not a fine line anymore there's a little bit of a gap there quite a bit on my my uh, right side I don't know how well you can see that I have run out of my scar guard. I'm supposed to be getting another one in. And I notice that when I haven't been using the scar guard for a couple of days that the scars really start looking pink. Here's under my left arm. There's the the where the drain came out. And it looks red. That's scar tissue that's filled in there. Um, and that, that'll fade with time. I've got a little bit of a dog ear there. Let's see if I can show that. Not bad. Once I get to start working out again, um, I'm sure that will disappear. On this side, I've got a, a, a uh, see if I can show it. I've got a little bit more of a dog ear on my, my right side. And it'll be, that's the one that I might need to have a revision done to eventually, but uh, we'll see. I'm, I get to start working out again next week. I'm really looking forward to that. I must confess I've already done a few push-ups just to see how, how much muscle tone I've lost. I have lost a lot of weight. When I went in to uh, have my surgery, I was weighing in at 173, 174. 
and I'm now down to 163 or 164. And um, a lot of that's just I knew I was going to be less active, and so I've been really careful not to eat a lot of junk food. And I've been watching what I have been eating and portioning my meals. I just I was so worried that I'd gain weight while I was so inactive. So I've really made a conscious effort not to not to pack on the pounds. And I've been losing weight, so that's been exciting for me. I'm excited to start working out and seeing the muscle build up again now that I've lost a, about 10 pounds of body fat. I should be able to see my muscles popping out a little bit better than I, I did um, before I lost that weight. So I'm really looking forward to working out. Um, other things that have happened. Not a whole lot that, other than just continuing with my, my surgery and or surgery recovery and um, as far as the scar guard goes my I don't know if I can show you what a how bad I keloid or how bad I've keloided in the past and I've got a nice keloid right here on my wrist that's when I was I did a face plant on the asphalt when I was hit by a car while I was riding my bike and I, I've gotten some serious keloids I've got one here that should have just been a, a nice clean incision but it keloided right up and I was really worried about getting those on my my uh, chest incisions but with that scar guard they're nice and flat I haven't had a problem with those building up a keloid at all um, and I was doing that twice a day for the first couple of weeks and just about ran out so I went down to one putting it on once a day until I did run out and I just decided I wanted to uh, to order another bottle because once I stopped using it, I I have seen the the scars thicken up a little bit. So I'm I should be getting my next batch in the mail here either today or tomorrow, and I'm wanting to to apply it some more. So I'll be doing that for at least one more bottle. We'll see how how they look in another couple of weeks after I um, put that on faithfully. So anyway, life is going well. Work's keeping me busy. The swing shift is keeping me busy. I, I have a hard time waking up by noon every day, which leaves me just a couple hours to get things done around the house and and do some shopping, try to get grocery shopping done so Christine doesn't have to worry about that when she gets home from work. And, yeah, it's just... I, I wouldn't choose a swing shift but that's where they needed me and since they're cutting back everywhere else I just figured I'd go with the flow because I'd rather have a job than be looking for one especially right now when I'm I, I've got all my documents switched over to mail as far as my driver's license and social security card but I still haven't gotten my birth certificate fixed yet I still have to do the legwork that that takes to get that done so I just don't want to be looking for work right now at least not for uh, another little while. So I hope everybody else is uh, doing okay and I'm planning on posting a, another video here soon. So take care and I'll talk with you guys later. Bye.